Let's take a look at time. Now I'm hoping that all of the conversions here are familiar to you all, namely that there are 12 months in a year, seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in a minute. But just because you know them doesn't mean they're easy to use. Part of the problem, particularly with the final two, is that we're counting in 60s, not in 100s. If there were 100 seconds in a minute and 100 minutes in an hour, maths would be a lot easier for time questions, uh, particularly when our calculator gives us answers because our calculator doesn't know that we are doing a time question. So a calculator might say 3.5 as the final answer, which corresponds to 3.5 hours. Now, how do you convert that into hours and minutes? See, some people would think that that might be three hours and five minutes, which is completely wrong. Some people might think that it was three hours and 50 minutes, which is also wrong. What we need to be thinking is what does 0.5 mean? 0.5 means a half. So 3.5 hours is three and a half hours and three and a half hours is therefore three hours and 30 minutes. So this is where the problems arise. It's the fact that we are not counting in tens or hundreds, but in sixties for time. So be very careful with that. So let's have, take a look at 24 hour and 12 hour clock time. So if you're converting from 24 hour to 12 hour clock, it's actually quite simple. So if the, the first two digits correspond to the hours, so here it's 7.30. Now when, the, uh, when this number is 12 or below, we can just leave it as it is. And we can just say that that is 7.30. And this means it's a morning time. If this number here is less than 12, then it's in the morning, so a.m. Now, when the number is greater than 12, what we need to do is subtract 12 from the first two digits. So here we're gonna break this down to 14 hours and 55 minutes. But if I subtract 12 from the 14, that is gonna be two 55 and because uh, this number here is greater than 12 therefore this is an afternoon time a p.m. time so 2302 we're going to take 12 off the 23 23 minus 12 is 11 so that is 1102 and again because um, this is this number here is greater than 12 that is a, an afternoon or EM, uh, evening time so therefore a p.m. time when you're converting from the 12 hour to the 24 hour clock, if it's a morning time, all you need to do is just, well, just stick all the numbers together, not a problem. Um, so 10.07, um, you might see, it might be acceptable to keep the colon there as well, not a big deal. But if it's an afternoon or evening time, we need to add 12 to the number here. So 12 plus three or three plus 12 is 15. So that time is 15.15. 15. Here we've got another PM time, so we need to add 12 to the 8, so that is 20, 25. 